Good evening. I was planning on making a fire and doing my video next to the fire, but I got my hot tub. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do the fire, but I figured, I don't know if you can see my cup back there. Well, better not show too much. <laughs> I was having some bone broth with cabbage, minced garlic, turmeric. Some good stuff. You know, are you are you happy? Some people say they're happy. Some people can be happy in any situation. But are you really happy? Are you experience any kind of sadness are you I guess I don't know for me you know the word happy and everything everything is relative how would you define it right happiness you know I've been asked that before I, I don't know um, I'm usually like in the middle of the road Happy is not, uh, I mean, I usually don't get really excited about stuff. And, I, you know, there are things that make me happy. But generally, I'm just, I'm just, I'm good. I'm just good. And I don't, I don't think it's so much, so that's where the oxymoron comes in. When you focus on what you want, you want to be happy, right? Uh, so, I'm trying to find the words. You know, we can be happy with whatever. And, and I, okay, I'll give an example. Money. I, I used to think I don't need money to be happy. So, that led me to create the thought and the mindset of I don't need money I can be happy without money well guess what I could be happy without money so I had to shift that like I can be happier I can be happy with money <laughs> so uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's not so much about being happy it's are you getting the results that you want Are you getting what you want out of life? And if you're not, it's an inside job. You know, these are all quotes and, and isms that you, you always hear, right? Happiness is an inside job. Getting what you want, focus on what you want. And there's, there's truth in all of it. I was told once that you can't focus on your thoughts all the time. And whereas it might seem like a challenge, there comes a point where you can focus on your thoughts all the time. You know, you hear you hear life, the you know, the game of life. I mean, each of each of us came here for something different. But we all came here for something, right? And I've, I see patterns, I've observed patterns of people that get what they want. But, you know, good people, bad people, whatever it is, there isn't a pattern. There's no discrimination as to getting what you want. And it was, it was interesting because uh, there's a gentleman I follow, his name's Sadaguru. Uh, an Indian mystic and he's he's pretty funny he's pretty cool and he was talking about the virus and somebody asked him because he follows the teachings of Shiva and they asked what did Shiva think about the, the virus <laughs> and his answer was interesting 
Uh, look it up on YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what he said. But it goes right along with what I'm saying. It's good, bad, or indifferent. You, people get what they want. Part of the thing I think that many of us uh, have issues with, I know myself, is letting things go. Uh, I know even with, with traffic, <laughs> traffic being as lighted as it is, when I go out there, there's always that person that's in front of me that's sitting at the green light on their phone. Uh, so I'm like, you know, I really got to stop focusing on that and, and it'll stop happening because it, it, it irritates me just for a moment and I'll let it go. But I, I'm striving to get to where things don't bother me. You, you know, I, I, we, we've, all, we've also all heard that stress, anxiety, causes physical uh, you know, it messes with your health, right? I mean, it, it affects your body physically. I mean, it's, it's, it's proven. So wouldn't it be nice if somebody said or did something or posted something on Facebook and it didn't bother you? You could look at it objectively and just say, hmm, oh wow, that's his opinion. I don't agree with it, but we're all, we're all, we're all, we're, we are all. I am that I am. We are all the same. We are all, <laughs> we just, we just see things differently. We came here for a different reason and that's okay. That's what makes all this great. So the sooner that you can accept that life around you is what it is, but your thoughts create your reality, then things start to change. It's kind of that easy. It takes effort. It takes practice. And that's why I'm going to bring my beautiful face to you as often as I can to remind you, think about what you want, not what you don't want. Play a little game with yourself. Don't use the words don't, not, no, you know, I don't want to be late. I don't want this. I don't want that. Focus on what you do want. I want to be on time. I want to be, uh... You know, if you're cooking, you know, oh, I hope I don't burn this. No, say, man, I look forward to this turning out well. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's okay. That just means that you're not tuned in, tapped in, turned on. But you'll get better. But that's where you got to start. Start with everything you say is just what you want. So anytime you say... Uh, you know, man, I hope that doesn't fall over or, or, you know, if you tell your kids, don't fall down, just flip it around. What do you want? Be sure you stay upright. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting game. I, I play it with myself all the time and it, it's, it's challenging. It's like looking up new words in the dictionary and trying to use them. It changes the way you think, changes the way you say things. It'll start resonating with you and things will start changing. Well, I promise.